Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to replace the battery of a PowerBook 180, the internal battery, the small one that uh, keeps the clock running and all that. So hopefully we'll be okay. Let's start it. on this PowerBook 180 for a little while uh, it's still a work in progress but I need to make sure that I get rid of the internal battery first because it could be a liability and second because I'm sure it's already deployed the you know, other pleated so um, I'm just gonna take it out and replace it with a modern one there it is here's the battery and what I gotta do is gotta take out this whole part apart. Some of these areas are a little bit tricky, you gotta be very careful with it. These are the connectors for the monitor, so be very careful when you take them out, then separate the parts and put them away. And here it is. These are the two places that I gotta desolder to take out the battery. positive connector become a little tricky so I actually had to resort to use some pliers to take it and remove with a normal desolderer. finally came out and then I proceeded to clean up a little bit and make sure that I have everything set up correctly and I didn't break anything. Everything looks good so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. For the battery I'm going to use this battery holder. It's almost the same size. It's brand new and I'm going to be able to put it over there without any problems and in the future I'm going to be able to replace the battery with a new one. To fit it perfectly I'm just going to have to solder a couple of wires in there to take the same space or size as the old ones. Just with some pliers I make sure they fit exactly where they should be, measure it a couple of times and I'm ready to solder it.
here I'm adding a little bit of solder to the tips of the little wires so I don't have to worry about getting it when I'm next to it, it's a very tight connection. There it is, finally I just finished the second part, the negative, and there it is, it's pretty tight, works perfectly. Now I'm just going to put it back together has to be very careful again with those cables, the video cables are very difficult to put in and very delicate so you gotta be very very careful. a lot of wiggling to put them in but finally I got them nice and tidy. Finally I just put everything back together and make sure that everything is set up correctly. finish I just put a brand new battery over there and voila we're set and we're done thank you for watching and don't forget subscribe see you next time